What's up, buddy? How you doing? Probably having a better day than me. Uh, my day sucks because a bunch of people on the internet are lying about me. And I don't know about you, but uh, I personally don't like when people lie about me. When people make up thing I've, uh, things I've done, when people accuse me of things I haven't done, accuse me of impersonating people or making fake accounts and running ops, okay? Makes me not happy, makes me upset. So I'm going to address it. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to try and keep it quick and concise. Here we go. There's a comic named Isom. It's made by a guy named Eric July. Uh, I have political disagreements with Eric July. I don't like Eric July, and I think his comic sucks. And I've talked about it here. Uh, I've talked about it on my podcast. Okay, I'm a, I'm a critic. Okay, guys, I critique movies. I critique, you know, mo uh, television shows. I critique comic books. And I read Isom, and I think it sucks, and I talked about it. This has led to an ongoing feud between myself and Eric July. He doesn't like that we talk about how much we don't like his comic. Uh, okay, whatever. It's a, it's a stupid internet feud. And ultimately, it, this is free speech. I have the right to say I don't like a guy's comic. I have the right to say I think a guy's uh, running his business badly. And that's what it comes down to. Now, people are enjoying this feud. It's an ongoing feud. We talk about it on my podcast, which some of you listen to. The biggest problem in the universe. And a lot of fans really like the ongoing I saw him, Eric July banter. Clearly, one fan went too far, wanted to make themselves a part of the feud or a part of the drama or whatever else, and decided they could go out and pretend that they worked for the podcast and start sending these stupid emails that are causing trouble for people. So here was an email that was sent by a guy named Obtuse Gnome, obtuse gnome at gmail.com. Uh, and I'll be very clear about my relationship with this individual. This is a fan of the show. Okay. I've DM'd with them in the past on Twitter. Uh, at one point, they had uh, reached out to a charity that works with Eric July, and they had sent us the email uh, that they had sent to the charity. We talked about that on the show. Okay. So this is a person I've contacted in the past. But let's be clear. Uh, I have a lot of fans of the show who DM me stuff, who send me stuff for the show. Uh, I don't know these people very well. I don't know who this guy is. I've never met this guy. I've definitely never told this guy, hey, you work for the show. Go out and represent the show. You can use our name. You can make crazy claims about being a journalist who works for the show. This was a fan of the show who, yes, in the past has sent us material for the show, and we used it, but we had no working relationship with this guy. People send us all sorts of material for the show. People send in songs, people send in fan art, people send in articles for us to read on the show. Okay. That doesn't mean they're a part of the show. That doesn't mean they're our employees. That doesn't mean uh, that we are, are working with them or giving them authorization to, to act on our behalf. So this guy, this fan of the show, who I'm obviously very upset with that they went out and did this, they sent an email to this organization called the International School of Ministry, also known as ISOM. So it's another uh, business that uses the word ISOM to represent their business. Basically reached out, said, I'm an independent journalist working for the biggest problem in the universe. That's our podcast. I really have to stress. If anyone, if anyone asks, hey, can I use your name to, to send emails? No, you're not allowed. Don't do that. There, bottom line. Okay, we would never allow someone to do this. Reached out to these people and said, I want to know about your relationship with Eric July. When did you give him permission to use your name? Uh, you know, is he, you know, when did you help him make his comic book? Whatever else. Screwing around, you know, causing weird troubles, using a weird fake name, Roy Gerbel. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And basically, this apparently has led to this international school of ministry saying, oh, this guy makes a point, like maybe there's a trademark claim here because now, you know, this person has confused ISOM the character with ISOM the international school of ministry, and they're now suing Eric July for trademark infringement. They're saying he's not allowed to use the name ISOM. Uh, okay. You know, I, I understand that nobody wants to get sued for a trademark violation. And uh, I'm very upset that this fan was fucking around and misrepresenting us in creating this stupid drama. But Eric July is now claiming that I sent this email, that I am obtuse gnome, that I have been secretly uh, maintaining a fake account to send emails and try and destroy his business. Uh, he's saying this because, again, this guy previously sent us stuff for the show that we used on the show. We, we showed one of his emails between him and this charity, 
and he's saying, oh, you can see, you know, they said uh, we got this thing from the charity. They meant we as in they sent the email. No, we meant we as in somebody who's a fan of the show, someone from the fan community went out and asked Eric July's charity some questions, and we thought it was relevant, so we put it on the show. We didn't mean we're out here sending these stupid emails. Uh, and again, that first email, we're like, yeah, he emailed the charity, and we got information. That email wasn't stupid. This email claiming that he works for us and, and making shit up, this is very clearly a stupid email. Okay, so the claim is that this is a sock puppet account that we set up specifically to harass people. Guys, you can go on Twitter. Even though th this guy is banned, obtuse gnome, you can look up his old tweets. Um, or you can look up people responding to his old tweets. Here I've been able to pull up tweets going all the way back to uh, 2016, 2017. Okay, so this guy was active on Twitter for the last uh, six or seven years. And you could see he was all he was having all these conversations with people. Here he was arguing with people about veganism. He was arguing with PETA. We can't see his tweets anymore because his account's been uh, banned, but we can see at Obtuse Gnome all the people who were talking to him. He was in hundreds of conversations over the past seven years. The idea that this is a fake account, that for the last seven years I've been arguing with vegans and random people on Twitter, also I could eventually... I have my own Twitter, okay? If I want to argue with vegans, I'll just use my own Twitter. This Obtuse Gnome guy, again, uh, I have no idea who this guy is. All I can tell you is he was a fan of the show. Occasionally, he DM'd us. He said, you know, I'm a big fan. Here's some stuff you might be able to use for the show. Okay, but that does not make him a part of the show. Okay, that does not make him a contributor of the show. That does not make him an employee. That does definitely does not make him a senior reporter for Biggest Problem in the Universe News, as he's trying to claim. Okay? Uh, we say it all the time. You hear it from all your favorite YouTubers. Guys, we can't control what our fans choose to run out and do. Okay? Uh, we got to... <laughs> Sorry, my cat's running all over me. I have 250,000 uh, subscribers. I have 25,000 subscribers on Twitter. The podcast has 7,000 paid listeners. I am getting hundreds of messages every day from fans giving me material for the shows, giving me articles to look at, okay? And if one of them goes, decides to be stupid and say he works for me and goes out and sends these dumb emails, I don't like it. I'm not happy about it, but at the end of the day, I did not tell him to do this. I do not tell my fans, go out and harass people, go fuck with people's business. Uh, we, we're not here to do that. I think I say the exact opposite in my videos. I think if you watch my videos, on many times I've said, listen, we're going to talk about this news story, but the person involved, please don't harass them. Please don't send them any weird messages. Uh, why, why would I do that? Okay, here's an important point that I want to make. I don't want Eric July to lose his business. I very much enjoy reading his comic books and talking about how I don't like them, okay? It's been good content for my show. It's been funny. The fans enjoy the banter talking about ISOM. So, I no, I don't want Eric July to, to lose his business. That's the stupidest thing in the world. I don't want to interfere with his business, okay? If anything, I want him to keep making comic books so I can keep making fun of them because I think it's fun and funny, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to critique art and talk about uh, how much we like it or we don't like it. It's regrettable that some dumb asshole went out and said he works for my show, but he doesn't, and, and that's the bottom line. Eric July is talking about he wants to sue me. Uh, he wants to do something legal. I don't know, get lawyers involved. Uh, I hate to say it. It's going to be a huge waste of your money. Probably going to be a huge waste of my money. Because uh, at the end of the day, this is the guy you want. Whoever obtuse gnome at gmail.com is, if this is the guy you're mad at, find him. But he ain't me, man. I don't, I had nothing to do with this. I never instructed this guy to do anything, nor would I. Uh, if we, if we have to get lawyers involved, I'll say this, the truth's going to come out and you're going to, you're going to get the truth, man. I, I did not tell this guy to do anything. Uh, again, he seemed like a nice fan, had a couple DMS here and there. Uh, at the end of the day, I did not know he was a big dumb idiot that was going to go out and pretend that he worked for the show. Uh, and that's it. That's the bottom line. Uh, I'm not happy about this situation, Eric. Uh, it's regrettable that this happened. But again, it's not me. I don't have a secret sock puppet Twitter account arguing about vegans back in 2017. I don't have time for that. Bye-bye.